guys. Hump day, Wednesday. Yup. Oh, by the way, ano pala? Uh, belated Happy International Women's Day. Oh, belated. Yeah. To all Dami. the women out there. Dami ng ano. Daming mga magigiling na mga kababaihan sa, sa basketball. Sa larangan ng basketball, okay ba yung ano ko doon? Tagalog ko doon? <laughs> ano bang uh, um, language niya sa NCA? More on Tagalog ba kayo? Or Hindi. sa Okay. Tag, Taglish naman pareho. NCA, UAP. Pero dominant English sa UAP. Dominant Tagalog sa NCA. Ah, okay, okay. Yun ang ano dun. Ano si Ryan G. What the fuck? Okay, wala akong ring light. Pero ang bago. <laughs> anyway. So, ano may updates ba tayo? Parang walang updates, no? Wala, bro. Ano lang. Si Joseph Gabayani, nahuli nag-lead. Oo, sorry. Joseph Gabayani. Hindi, mapapalit ko na. Pupunta muna ako ng hoops hub. Pero lagyan naman, Joseph, na huli ko. Patutulog na lang ako po. Oo, oh, lumabas eh. Yung tiebreaker times. Oh. <laughs> so, nasa hoops hub na playing in legal. So, may suspension siya and all that. Meron, meron. Um, Two weeks I think, ata, no pay. Pero I think hindi naman affected yung terra firma kasi tapos naman na sila, di ba? Yes, yes. Uh, so, and, or, and, may, or may one game and, uh, pa. May one game pa siya. May one game pa ang terra firma. Pero hindi na siya makakalala. I think against okay. Token Tech. Token Tech ba? Guys ha, like, two weeks of PBA salary is not small. Yeah. <laughs> well, bro, kahit sabi mo, bro, I, 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 don't, I don't like talking about money again, but like Joseph Gabayani for sure is making six digits at least. Oh. Oo naman, di naman siya magsi seven digits. Pero six digits. Oh, six. Kalahati ng six digits, masakit ha. Oh, Minimum nung 50. Puta, oh, yun, sakit nun, man. Yeah, but yeah, tama. He will miss the Gyps game against TNT Tropang Giga tomorrow at 3 p.m. Mm. Okay. Um, what else did it come out sa Hoops Hub? Oh, let's talk about Von Pesumal's 32 threes. Oh yeah, bro. That's what yeah, he does, man. though. Like, yeah, bro, bro. Like, people don't understand when you're a professional basketball player. That's what you do. Like. You still like, work, man. Like, no, I'm, I mean, like, that's that's what you do. Like, basketball is what you do. So, 32 straight three-pointers, as impressive as it is, I'm not surprised, especially with someone like Vaughn. Parang, that's, true. that's what he does. Like, for you to be in, a, in an official PBA game with defense and all that, and you can shoot five three-pointers... I don't know what his career high is exactly, pero I'm sure kaya niya maglima anim in one Uh-oh. game. If you can make five or six in an official PBA game, making 32, I mean, as as impressive as it is, isn't surprising. Like, yeah, but a lot of people kasi don't realize na that's diba? really what they do. Oh, that's what they do, man. That's they, what they, they do every day. Yeah, man. Like, if you do something every single day, you're bound to get better at it. And if you have the passion and the love for the game and all that, like, 32 three-pointers for Vaughn, honestly, is no... Uh, again, kay kwento ko sa inyo ito. Larry Vaughn na share, nung time na isang buwan ako sa TNT, does not go home until he makes 10 pull-up. Not not pull-up. Eh. Yung hindi hindi ganyan eh, na standstill. Eh. Parang puputa siyang half-court, babalik siya, pak, tira. Puta siya half-court, babalik siya, top of the key, tira. He makes 10 or 15, I'm not even sure, every single day after practice. Now, I know 15 or 10 is not as much as 32, but come on, Larry can, can also make 32 if he wanted to. Diba? Yeah. Like, grabe yung 32. Ah. Grabe people yun. kasi are, people are, are surprised to see this and not see him on the court. But yun nga, to our point kanina, this is what they do on a regular basis. Kahit yung mga tao sa bangko. Oh, man. I'm not surprised. This is their job, eh. Yeah, this Profes- is their job. They are professional basketball players. Yeah, for you to be a professional at something, for you to have this something as a profession, you're the best in the country. Oh. Like, that's that's who you are. So, 32 straight, again, ah, hindi ko binababa yung, yung impressive, yung gano ka, ka impressive to, ah. But, for Vaughn, like, I'm not really surprised, man. Like, this is what he does. 32 is nothing to Vaughn, man. Feeling ko, ito lang kasi yung nakuha niya sa camera. 
Pero ito nga I'm sure. lang. Ito nga lang. Oh, I'm sure yun nagawa na niya yan. He doesn't get enough time on the court. So, pag nung nakita ng mga tao yung video na to na he scored, he, he shot 32 straight threes, and then biglang clamor for, oh, this is what uh, some of okay. is doing. Like, I, I, I mean, I, 32 straight is impressive. Like we said before, Vaughn can hoop. Vaughn yeah. can hoop. But, I think you're a little ignorant if you say just because of this, dapat ipasok na siya. Nah. Yeah, that's not, like, para, para lang tong pumipili ng top something eh. You can't tell me ipasok si Vaughn without telling me sino iupo. Uh, Hindi naman pwedeng yung lima, lalagay mo lang si Vaughn pang anim. Hindi pwede. So, giving Vaughn minutes would mean uupo mo si Marshall, uupo mo si CJ, uupo mo si Jericho. Like, let's not be ignorant naman. Diba? But this also goes without saying that Vaughn can also, can definitely contribute on a different team. For sure. No man. doubt about it. Actually, if Bigay kay Vaughn yung minutes ni CJ, he can also contribute. Maybe not the same oh, yeah. way as CJ, but he can different, contribute. Different yeah. style lang kasi sila. But that's the Vaughn thing is though. more of a shooter, perimeter yeah. scorer, wala masyadong inside game. Oh. Hindi but, masyado slasher. But that's the thing though. Like, you, Coach Leo has to choose. Like, who's my mm, main exactly. wing? He chose Marshall yeah. and CJ and you can't complain. So, I think even Vaughn knows na parang hindi porket naka-32 straight ako. Biglang oh. miraculously the next game meron ako 15 minutes on the floor, 20 minutes. Come on, man. Vaughn is too mature for that. Like, like I want, I commend the 32 straight. I'm not surprised because that's what he does. But let's not be ignorant. I'm not here gonna yeah. say na, oy, dapat ginagamit si Vaughn. Hindi yeah. naman. Like, let's not be ignorant. Kahit si Paul Samar, ginagawa yan, pustahan tayo eh. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he does that. Diba? And diba meron silang... Everybody else in the PBA, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, especially if you're considered a shooter in the PBA. Yeah. Tsaka bro, diba meron silang small group na nagsushooting lagi? Si Terrence, si Vaughn, si Paul, si Alex ata nung time na yun. Not super aware. And when I see those small groups, meron sila bro, like after practice lagi nagsushooting sila. Madalas si Paul Samar yung may hawak ng belt. So, again, they can compete with like Ter- Paul Zammer can compete with Terrence when it comes to shooting. But, come on, let's not be ignorant and say sa game, dapat iupo si Terrence, dapat si Paul Zammer ang gamitin. Huwag tayong ignorant. Diba? As fans, kasi we tend to forget the, that, the team factor of it. Eh, that yeah. everybody is contributing to the success of the team. Kasi in practice, Sila rin naman yung nagbabakbakan eh. Nagbabakbakan. They, the bench players, those who sit on the bench during the games, they make the starters and the rotation players better by competing with them in practice. Yeah, and alam naman tayo may recency bias tayo, di ba? Kung sino yung nakita mo. Yung sino yung nakita, nakita natin si Von, nag-32 straight. Wow, galing. Dapat si Von yung gamitin. Pagdating ng game ng San Miguel, tapos nag-25 si CJ Perez, everybody will be like, uy, CJ, ang galing. Like, let's face it, recency bias. Yung kagabi, nakita natin si Von, nag-32 straight. So right away, sasabihin niyo dapat ginagamit si Von. Nakalimutan niyo naman yung kayang gawin ni CJ Perez, tsaka yung kayang gawin ni Jericho Cruz, tsaka ni Terrence Romeo, Marshall Lasseter. So, Wala, may recency bias lang talaga tayo. So, you know. But, yeah, I'm still very impressed with 32 straight. You know how I'm impressed, yeah, but I'm not surprised. Yeah. Ayun, para, that's Vaughn, though. That, that's, that's something that they do on a regular basis. Yeah, and Vaughn is like one of the best spot-up shooters in the league. Yung ganun lang, like, nakaset ka, bro, tapos pak, pak, man. Vaughn, pe, oh, sobrang may master niya yan. Sobrang automatic and, yan. Sobrang nakaka... Sobrang... It's very impressive that he blossomed into that kind of shooter because knowing Vaughn from high school, and Mikey would know this, he he was more of a slasher back then. Yeah, bro. Yung, diba? He, yung, pag, yung pagiging shooter niya, na-develop niya, college na siya, diba? He, he went on Mikey TV and he was a big. He was a big. Oh, oh tama. He was a big in high school. He was school. a big. In, in, in grade school, he was a big. In high school, yeah, he was a 4-3. 4-3. Oh, oh. Parang big mic niya oh, to. Oh, parang ganon. Pero like shooting niya, college na daw talaga. If I'm not, if I remember correctly. Pero yeah, niya I, I, I know college na eh. Kasi college I remember na. talaga him nung high school. Hindi, wala, hindi siya shooter. Ang alala ko pa nga, hindi first season. 
from if I remember correct. Oh, oh. nag first Hindi, season siya bangko kasi siya. Kasi parang oh, oh. And then he was Yung trying to look for a niche. Na yata. Oh, oh. He was looking for a niche. He was looking for yeah. an identity because he was lost. Ha? Ano ako sa college? Hindi naman ako pwedeng big man eh. So, doon no. siya nag-practice ng shooting niya. And then yun, talagang naging yun na yung role Kasi niya. Kasi parang hanggang... more point forward yung role niya mm, ng high exactly. school. Parang ganyan. Exactly. Sa, parang big bike talaga. Mm. Kaya niya magbaba ng bola, magaling siya mag-dribble, pero he wasn't really known as a shooter. And he knew that he needed to be a Marshall Lasseter type of player if he wanted to you know be successful in the PBA or even in the UAP. I don't think he would have been successful in the UAP if he wasn't a shooter. I don't think so. Yeah. That's so, right. That's good for him. Okay. All right. Since wala naman tayong ibang update, wala na ba? Wala na, no? Wala na, bro. That's it. Uh, so, Ay, by the way, before we move on, shout out to uh, Doc Rico Messina. Sabi niya yung... Si, di ba, yesterday we mentioned that Sol Mercado was the only one to lead the league in points and assists. Ah, uh, hindi. Conference, conference lang daw. Conference. And ano daw, nagawa na rin daw ni Verhel Meneses before with Sunkist. Oh, okay. That's... I like the update, but yeah, we wouldn't have known that. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't exactly. have known. Exactly. Doc, thank you. Because we didn't know that. Bro, no. Wait, sorry. I didn't know that I was going to lose the sunkist. Honestly, like, I never really watched sunkist. Si Varel Meneses is going to lose. It's in Baraco. I was going to lose FedEx, bro. FedEx. FedEx, that's right. FedEx is going to lose. That's right. Takpo si Melo, yun. Dumating na si Mami niya, yun. Oh. oh, guys, oh. Ganyan, ganyan na, ano. Oh. Ayan, oh. oh. Ganyan si Melo. Pag dumalating. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. Thank you again for the correction. And people, just mga nagko-correct sa amin, nagpapasalamat kami. Lalo na yung mga oh. may nagsabi na may amateur pala yung bubuoy ni Coach Chot. So, tama si Javi kahapon. But it was fun also to have an all-pro lineup. So, yeah. Thank you very much. And also, sinabi nila yung mga hindi eligible. Thank you also, Malonzo. Thank Apparently, he's not you. eligible. Chris Ross. Um, okay. Munzon is not eligible. So, you know, thank you for all that. For all the corrections. Ano naman eh. Hindi naman sila toxic. So, okay tayo. Oh, okay! Yeah. <laughs> Alam nyo naman kami, mga kaibigan, pag wala mapag-usapan, tatakbo sa community <laughs> na, guys, tulungan nyo kami kasi wala kami mapag-usapan. Okay. Bro, 151 comments. 151 comments. Pretty we wild. Can, we can't un- answer all this, but we can of go course, as bro. fast as we can. Let's try to go as fast okay. as we can. Oh, I'm, I'm here to start. I went back to the very okay, start. Yeah. Ay, ako rin. Ako rin. Ah, ito si Paolo Balderose. <laughs> what if 6'5 si Mikey Reyes tas walang injuries? Sure na ba waste of the league? <laughs> bro, God is fair. Yun lang ang gusto kong sabihin. God <laughs> is fair. God made me... 5-9 for a reason. Okay, God is fair. That's like saying, no, I'm not putting myself on like Allen Iverson's level, ah, but that's like saying, make Allen Iverson 6-5. 6-7. Yeah. 6-7. Let's be, you know, kumbaga, kung ginawaan yung T-Mac, yung height ni Allen Iverson, mag wild siya. <laughs> like, I'm not, hindi ko kinukompare sa rilig ko kay Allen Iverson, but if you put, medyo mahirap naman kasi, like, a guy who grew up being 5'9 ako. Pure point guard ako since bata ako. Tapos gagawin mo akong 6'5. So yung laro ko pang point guard pero 6'5. Damn, that's like Gabe Norwood. Diba? Yeah, true. <laughs> Gabe Norwood could have been successful even if he was 6'1. Six, yeah. Kasi yung IQ niya, diba? yung oh. handles niya, then you make him 6'5. That just goes to show you can't have it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have it all. No, six uh, five Mikey would be in the league. That is that yeah. for me. I would like. I can confidently say that face of the league. Medyo wala naman yan sa plano natin. Okay na ako sa mag PBA. Face of the league bonus na lang yan. But six five Mikey, bro. Damn, but if I, I was I, six five, bro. <laughs> so but I know, think if if you would have been asked this question when you were still in UP. Kung 6'5 I think you would have said face of the league. Yeah. Kung 6'5 ba ko tapos prime ko? I'm 6'5! Oh, bro, sino ang 6'5? Mas matangkat pa ako kay Chris Ross noon. Oh, si Chris 6'4, 6'3. Yeah, something like that. Parang Marshall ka 6'5. Parang Marshall. I'm not sure kung 6'5 si Marshall. Game basic. Parang Ray Parks. Ray Parks. Hindi, mas matangkat ka pa. 6'3, 6'4 si Ray Parks. Bro, malaki ang 6'5 sa PBA. 
Marshall Lasseter. Si And for you to be a guard at 65. 1.88 meters. Meters to feet. 1.88 1.88. Bro, 6'1 lang si Marshall. 6'1 eh. lang si Marshall, bro. 6'1 <laughs> lang. Rani Del de Ocampo. 1.97. 1.97. Bro, mas matangkad pa ako kay Rani Del. 6'4 <laughs> si Rani Del. Mas gagawin. Damn, son. Bro, iba yun, bro. Gabe Norwood. I think, I think pwede, Mike, eh. Face Ma- bro, of the league. Bro, mas, mas, mata- mas matangkad pa ako kay Gabe Norwood. Oo. Baka. Tapos yung laro ko, yung, yung same ah, yung mabilis. Oh, kantarot, mabilis. Tapos dumadrive like oh, six points Ay, guard. Ay, mas matangkad pa ako kay Ranidel. So pwede akong quatro. <laughs> Ay, that's a no joke ah. My biggest Magic frustration. Magic Johnson-ish. Oh bro, and my biggest frustration is height because I've always wanted to be a mellow, <laughs> like Carmelo Anthony. Like yung poste, tas jab-jab. Sobrang swag ni Carmelo bro. Like 6'5? Damn, kinilig ako doon kahit hindi totoo ah. Kinilig ako mag- <laughs> maisip ko lang na 6'5 ako. Babe, kung 6'5 ako, pap, pap ano, pamalin mo ako, mas lalo. 5'9 ka ka, kung 6'5 oh! ako, babe. Kung 6'5 oh! ako, babe. Sobrang yaman natin siguro kung 6'5 ako. Magbibilig ako, sure. Kahit bangko. Malamang bangko ako sa bilig. Bangko lahat ng Pinoy doon. Eh. Pero at least bilig, pare. But a million kita ako per month. Oh, diba? Pero sa Japan tayo. Babe, hanapan kita ng trabaho doon. Maraming trabaho doon. Pero pag-uusapan natin muna kung ano yung trabaho doon. Tara, kata. Okay! Sorry. Napatagal okay. kami doon. Hindi naman maganda yung... Hindi maganda yung tanong mo, Paolo. Ha? No joke. Hindi maganda. Kasi yun ang buwan naman na yan. Okay. okay. Oliver M. Valencia. What if Northport did a trade their key pieces before? Which key pieces? Sino ba yung key, key pieces? pieces? <laughs> di ko alam si yung not... key oh, di... We Sorry, don't know. Na na na. Sorry, hindi mo sinabi. Pero thank you for oh, the question, si... Oliver. Oh, thank you for the question. Sino yan? Sina Stanley? Si... Ewan ko, siguro. Pero pwede rin... Eh, may, may, bo- may Berto ka na eh. Kaya nga. Eh. You know why I don't... We don't notice yun yung key pieces na nilet ko nila. Kasi malakas sila ngayon eh. Oh. So parang, sinong hinahanap natin? But yeah. Oh. They don't need Stanley nor Terrence because they have Berto. Exactly. Okay. Vincent Santelise. Actually, uh, before I move on, uh, Stanley and, and Terrence, parang Berto, eh, Berto is like Stanley and Terrence combined right oh, now. No, would, no. You, would you agree? So, I'm taking... <laughs> Right this moment, I'm taking Berto over both of them. Yeah. yeah. Today, yeah. Today. Today, yeah. Today, yeah. exactly. And also, I'm taking Berto also dun sa stint nila both, all three of them with Northport because Berto is the only one na talaga yeah. carrying. Exactly. Diba because ka, Berto, yung... Berto did, ev- Berto is doing everything. Yeah, bro. Like, minamalit ng I mean, tao sure, yun. Sure, Stanley and Terrence could score in bunches. Oh, but they could distribute the ball and oh, score oh, at oh. the same time. Minamalit ng tao yung carrying ability ni, te- ni, ni Terrence, oh. ni Berto. Yung carrying ability, yun yung pinag-uusapan namin na talaga carry, bro. Sure, these guys can ball. Terrence, oh. Stanley. No doubt about it. Nakita naman natin but bro, bro the way Berto is doing ah. it right now. And, really? and guys kasi, people disregard the carrying ability because minsan natatalo talaga si Berto. Natalo siya oh. sa San Miguel. But for you to carry your team against a San Miguel team na ganun, kahit talo ka, you cannot disregard the carrying ability of, the, of Berto. Yun yung ayoko na parang, oh, siya nga nagbuha, talo naman. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Parang si Damian Lillard, talo pa din naman eh, pero binubuhat niya. At the end of the day, nasa top 75 si Damian. Kahit marami tayong reklamo, nasa top 75 siya. Carrying ability. Okay. Tao, go. Okay, next. Vincent Santelice. So, what if hindi pumunta si Ray Park sa Japan? Sure, Grand Slam na ba TNT? Um, ah, kasi kung may, Grand pero Slam. kung may Mikey. Oo, oh, kung may Mikey. Pero I'm not... I wouldn't guarantee them a sure Grand Slam yeah, yeah. just yet because yeah. I mean you still have the SMC teams to yeah, deal with and then I I don't think they would be a sure win. Yeah. Hindi hindi Even sure Grand really Slam. Win. Sure, sure they're more talented but Grand yeah. Slam. And you don't even but know Grand if, Slam. And you don't even know if it will work. 
Exactly. Having you, Mikey it, and Ray Ray in one team, you don't even know if it'll work. Which brings us to the question ito ni Neil Martin Jumbo. Oh, what if Ray Park stayed with TNT? Ganun pa din ba maging laro ni Mikey or hindi na nila kukunin si Mikey? I think kukunin pa din naman nila. Because Mikey is not the replacement for Ray Ray. Mikey is He's actually not. the future replacement. Ha? I want to say future replacement kasi hindi pa tapos of Jason. of Jason. So he's not the replacement for Ray Ray. So Ray Ray... And I think, you know, for a franchise like the, like TNT wouldn't dare pass up an opportunity oh, to get a talent like Mikey. Yeah. I think... I think, ano... Um, hindi talaga sila nag-pass up. Last pick nila ako. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think okay pa rin si Mikey less touches lang oo kasi parang he wouldn't be a, a, I don't think he would be a, 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 a rookie MVP candidate yeah I think Ray he Ray would be a rookie of the year candidate of but your, not yeah. MVP because Ray Ray would be an MVP candidate and the thing is with Mikey wala namang ball dominant sa to kay Ticks kundi siya exactly Lahat puro playing sure, off. Wala. Eh. Twilight na si Jason. Oh, no? Jason. Kunting minutes yeah. na lang. So, everyone plays off of Mikey. The same way everyone played off of Ray Ray. Now, with them together, para kang may Lavin tsaka may DeRozan. So, That's true. If So, it's it's a question. If it's gonna... They're talented, but is it gonna work or not? So, mm-hmm. we we, we can't... We, we won't know for sure. That's why this is what if Wednesday. Yeah, masaya din to. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Migs Lipata, what if hindi na trade yung pick rights sa Simtang? What if hindi na trade yung pick rights ng NLEX sa TNT na naging si Mike? O din, hindi masakit na nawala si Kiefer. Oo. Hindi masakit. I think they would have been in a much better place. Definitely. I mean, Definitely. I, I I think this is medyo common sense naman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if Mikey would have went with NLEX, definitely the NLEX would have been in a much more better place than they are now. And TNT wouldn't have won the chip. That's true. TNT would have, Magnolia would have won the chip. That's true. Or Enlex could have won the chip. We don't know. I, I don't even think TNT would have made it to the finals. Yeah, yeah. They, would have they didn't have Mikey. I mean, if you have Mikey, Calvin Oftana, Kevin Alas, Jericho Cruz. Bro. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah. TNT, That's a pretty scary bunch. Yeah. yeah. And if Kiefer didn't leave pa, pucha. Something. Damn, bro. Yeah. Yan ang baka pwedeng Grand Slam. Oh, kasi for me, ah. Ray Parks is wild card. You don't know what Ray Parks is thinking. You yes, don't know the... if he would buy in the into the team, if he would be okay playing alongside Mikey or ayaw niya. The say parang Kobe paras, alam mo yun? That's true. Kiefer though, we know that he would be. Oh yeah. Sige, go. Share tayo. Definitely. Diba? So, I know Kiefer kasi is, you know, medyo ano yung utak ni Kiefer eh. Mat- mature. I'm not saying immature si Ray Ray. Ha? I'm just saying mas wild card si Ray Ray. Okay. What if right, Sistan what if Sistan nasa Northport pa? Ram Angelo. What if Sistan what if nasa, nasa LX Mikey? Ay, okay na yun. Oh, what if Sistan nasa Northport? Yun yung sinko nila. Oh, actually Sina nila? wala sa kanila si Greg in short. Oo. Oh, oh, yun yung trade? Yeah, that would have been much better actually if Sistan stayed with North. Oh, medyo mas mobile. Kasi mas bagay si Sistan ka pareho si Bo. Yun nga ang problema eh. Minsan, ang tao, porkit gumawa si Sistan sa Northport under Coach Pido, people thought, sige, papuntayin nyo na ng Hinebra kasi magaling pala eh. But uh-huh. people disregard yung sistema, yung team. Like, hindi pwedeng porkit magaling ka dito. Right away, pag tinrade mo, magaling din. Hindi. Yeah, si Timo, medyo nangapabigla nang yung Hinebra. Diba? So, yeah. But if he was in Northport though, so right now, it would be Berto, Malonzo, Taha siguro. Di ba? Ah, sino ba yeah. starting two guard? Taha, di ba? ba Taha. Minsan, si, si Balanza ba nagsistart? Oh, nagsistart pala si Balanza minsan. Okay, so, ta- si Balanza. Oh, so whoever the two guard is, I think ang set lang naman dyan in stone is Berto, Malonzo, Arwin. Tapos si yes. si Christian. Dai. Bro, sarap nun. <laughs> and Christian is a more, is more of a pick and roll big than Greg. 
Exactly. Mobile si Chris. Kahit can run the floor. Oh, bro. Lakas na. Mas talagang bagay sa sistema ni Coach Pido si si Stan. Again, guys, ha, this is what if Wednesday, ha? so let's <laughs> not be carried away. But if he was Ano North... pala nangyari kay Greg ngayon? Hindi ko alam eh. Kali- Kali- Nakalimutan ko na eh. Ah, balikita ako! <laughs> ah, balikita ako! Mapupunta sa MVP. Oh, interesting. <laughs> may, may MVP team at may reunion na magaganap. Okay, putang ina. <laughs> Siyempre, guys, alam nyo na yan. Hindi na namin kailangan sabihin. Re- na. Oh, again, guys, uh, don't, hindi to chismis. <laughs> I'm not trying to push this. Huwag nyo ilabas to sa media. Tayo-tayo lang. Balita ko. <laughs> Maniwala man kayo, hindi. Mapupunta sa MVP at may reunion na magaganap. And which is not far-fetched. Unrestricted yeah. siya, di ba? Yeah. Unrestricted ba siya? Not sure, ah. Pero not sure bigla lang kasi siya nawala, eh. Bigla siya nawala, eh. Tapos may balitang B-Gate, di ba? Uh, he still played some games, eh. Oo. With Northport. So, yeah. I think may reunion na magaganap. Okay. Ah, <laughs> okay. Chris, Chris Abel. Ito na naman, ano na naman, Mikey na naman. <laughs> What if kunin ka kuya Mikey ng index tapos nag-attitude problem ka to the point na bibitawan ka ng MVP core pero makikita ng SMC teams ang potential at laruan mo pa sa mababa ka sakali sa'yo so kukunin ka ng isa sa kanila. That's, Chris, <laughs> that is the entire Terence Romeo kwento. Exactly. I mean, honestly, that is Terence Romeo's kwento. Ako, hindi mangyayari sa akin yan kasi hindi ako, pag- <laughs> hindi ako pag-aagawan ng parehong yan. But Terence, that is... That is exactly Terence Romeo's kwento. Pin- pinakawalan yeah, uh, siya ng sinugal nasa nasa Global Port siya, sumugal sa kanyang MVP, hindi nagkatugma, sinalo siya ng SMC. And where is Terence Romeo now? And Terence is ano, 'di ba? Very public about it na he is SMC revived his career. So, yeah. yeah. Parang saving grace uh, niya yung San Miguel Beer. Oh, Javi, what if maging analyst? Si Javi naman, ka, what if, what if maging analyst, analyst ka sa yeah. PBA tapos kasama mo si Sir Sev Chak Magu. Kahit sino sobrang... pa ang kasama ni Javi dyan, basta nandun na siya. Masaya <laughs> <Uh-oh>. na siya. <laughs> Pero teka, Chris, I will say this. Hindi to what if. What is to. Oh. What will be. Oh, malay. Oh, oh sentiment. Yeah. Ano na, ako baga, ano yung tawag mo dun? Uh, manifest. Manifest. Mangyayari. Oh, sige. May Hindi magandang tanong. Ta- sige, may magandang tanong ako sa'yo. Pag PPB ka, papaka- oh. papakawala mo yung... <laughs> Papakawala mo lahat pag nag-PBA ka. Let's face it. Totoo yun. Okay lang. Pap- papakawala mo si Philby. Papakawalan mo si MPBL. Ako kasi hindi. That, that, ah! that, 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 Ako hindi. That, Ako hindi. That, 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 is something, that is something to discuss. Let's Sorry. cross the bridge when we get there. Okay? Sorry. Pero ako, right now, straight up. Kung ofera na ako ng PBA, which... Kumpiyansa kasi ako hindi ako ofera ng PBA kasi ayaw sa akin ng TV5. I'm saying it on camera. Ayaw sa akin ng TV5. Kaya never nila ako inofera. Ever. And Chooks to Go was the first to offer me something. So, right now. Nope. I'm staying. Okay. Anyway. Kaya ako kumpiyansa kasi alam ko hindi ako ofera ng TV5. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm very much happy with Chooks. I'm very uh, much happy with Phil B and everything. But, you know, let's cross the bridge with you. No, ikaw kasi up and coming eh. So, oh, nga, tama, may chance tama. talaga na kunin ka ng TV5. Ako wala talaga. So, anyway, <laughs> what if the league decided to redraft rosters? Jag Calvario. Sobrang haba ng sagot dyan because magkakagulo <laughs> lahat. That's a very complicated situation to be in. <laughs> Who will be your first pick? Oh, how will ikaw. How will you... But uh, yan nga, how will you even pool the players? No, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw. Kunyari, first pick ka. Sa fantasy Bento. draft. Pareho tayo. Diba, wala, bias na ako sa point guard. See, I need my point guard to be solid. I'm going kahit sa get. fantasy, kahit sa NBA fantasy, point guard una ko kinukuha. Totoo, bro eh. Kailangan kukunin mo yung ball dominant eh. Oh. I will take Berto over Mikey. Sorry guys, oh, yeah. but... Kailangan mo kunin yung mataas usage rate eh. Wala eh. Sorry, Pwede man. mo kunin na una. Wala, talo ah. Oo, oh, hindi ka naman, hindi ka naman magkakamali eh. Either way, oh, this oh. is very subjective. First pick is very subjective. There is no clear-cut number one. Unlike sa NBA, 
Wala rin naman clear cut sa NBA. Pero wala rin bro, wala rin. Sino ba first pick Mas lalo sa na sa NBA. Sino ba first pick sa fantasy? Wala, pari mahirap. Ay, may kawan, magluluka ka or minsan. Yanis. Dati. O, oh, Yanis, pwede rin. Dati, mag-Westbrook ka pa during his prime. Oo, oh, may Harden ka pa. Uh, may Harden ka pa. May Jokic ka pa. Dami. Embiid. Jokic, oh, wala, Embiid. Wala. Wala. It's very subjective. Pero kami, we just agree na Berto kami. Okay, next. Berto. Kung PBA, yeah. Uh, Uy, maganda yung kay J. Uh, J.D. Alfonso. What if Lasal wasn't suspended during the 2006 UAP basketball season? Bakas They would have been champions? champs. They would have been champs, bro. They would have been champs. Like, how talented were they during that year? Yeah. They would have been champs. Ang inad. Kakita mo naman how they dominated. Si Joseph Yo ba to? Hindi na ato. Joseph Yo pa rin ba to? Hindi na yata. Ano na to? T.Y. T.Y. J.V. T.Y. J.V. Simon. Oo. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they would have been champs. I think I, I, I can say they would have been champs. Neil, what if Berto was drafted by Blackwater and Ray Parks was drafted by Northport? Berto would have um, been on a tear. Oh, yeah. Berto, Berto would have gotten his stats. He would have been getting, like... He's already getting his stats right now with Northport. Uh, Mas lalo na ako nasa Blackwater siya. He would have been the CJ Perez. Kung oh. nasa terra firma si CJ, hindi na nanalo, yeah. pero puta, wild. He would Scoring have leader and everything. Ray Parks was drafted by Northport. Ganun pa din naman. I feel like Ray Parks would have still contributed a lot if Northport. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, how Coach Pido is with his players. Pag ikaw talaga, may pangalan ka na talaga, he will give you all the confidence in the world. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Jasper is. What if hindi si Coach Chot ang maging coach ng Gilas? No specific reason. Just hindi na lang siya pwede ganun. Uh, Sino po ang sa tingin nyo ang papalit sa kanya? Yeah, I mean, this is what if. So there's no toxicity here. I'm not saying yeah. I am okay, Coach Chot. Pero okay, sige. Tanggalin natin si Coach Chot. Wala si Coach Tab. Who would you put? Um, coach Yeng? Nah. No? Not not in, hindi na. Yeng. You wanna go Yang? You wanna go, wanna go let's yeah. go somewhere na hindi pa nagigilas coach. Exactly. Oh, sige. Wala si Coach um, Wala si Coach Yeng. Wala si Coach Jong. Wala si Coach Tim. Okay. Um, I would go... Sige, go. You know what? I'd go Coach Alden. I was gonna say the same thing. I'll go, <laughs> I'll go like totally new blood. Yeah, and I, I, I really think um, yung sistema ni Coach Alden would fit the international yeah. game. Yung ratratan, no? Ratratan, yeah. pressure defense, yeah. three-point shooting. Yeah, I'm going with Coach Alden. I was gonna go with Coach Alden too. Yeah, and you said it first. Coach Alden kami pareho dito. Coach Alden or... Let's keep it. Coach Alden. Okay. Coach Alden. What if Paulie James Siap trade never happened? Um, yeah, that's tough. Man. That is tough. It's parang hirap na rin to compare because James was nearing the twilight of his career. Si Paul medyo nasa prime. Si Paul nasa prime pa siya. Eh. Oh, parang ano yan? So, I don't know. Only really would have been a superstar, but I don't think he would have been as big as he is now. Yeah, diba I don't din, think he would. SMC ka, diba? I don't think Paul would have been in a position to win a chip every single conference if he stayed with Rainer Shine. Sino ba nauna? Si Paul o si Coach Yang? Ay, magandang tanong. Sure. Uh, we, we're not uh-huh. sure. So we're not gonna conclude. But people, please leave in the comment section. Kasi kung si Coach Yang ang nauna, kung si Paul na iwan, baka hindi umalis si Coach Yang. Oo nga. Pwede. May chance. Kasi bata niya. May chance. Eh. Oo. Diba? So yeah. It's, it's tough to know. Anyway. Huh. Joseph Lameda, what if Phil Shams were not banned in the league? Do you think guys like San Alvarado, Rob Parker, David Harp, etc. would have the same success as Asitao Lava, Eric Meg, etc.? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, they were a cut above the rest naman. Obviously, that's Obviously. why they were banned. And uh, wala, they, they didn't have the the, papers. the requisite papers. Yeah. I'm, so, not, I'm not really sure because I don't even... Like, I know their names, but... Uh, the Von Harp lang na napanood ko, Red Bull. Okay. Tama, di ba? Uh-oh. Si Rob Parker hindi ko na panood, si Anil Brad hindi ko na panood. But if Phil Shams were not banned, edi matagal lang nandito si Jason Brickman. Oo nga. 
kasi yun legit Pinoy pa nga yun eh hindi lang makapasok walang papers eh so yeah it, it would have been a totally different landscape um Abram Giliaco what if hanggang ngayon nasa Magnolia oh we, we answered that already um Benjamin Gumpok Gumbok what if Robert Bolly goes to Hinebra for Stanley Pringle fair trade Pringle gets to retire with the team I drafted him while Berto gets to experience the barangay experience. I guess to experience the barangay experience. If he becomes part of the barangay <laughs> hotic face of the league. Also imagine a to, 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 to Pringle Malonso team of Shish. Um, as much as I love Stanley Pringle, Lugi ang Northport sa trade na to. Lugi sila dyan. Lugi Because sila dyan. Stanley this, is at what? At this point, ah, 33, 34. 34 33, 34. Like seven years older than him. Lugi sila dyan. And sila. you can see that Stanley is already having trouble dealing with a lot of injuries yeah. right now. 35, bro. Oh, 35 na siya. Uh, but, the... but, but, what if? What if? Okay, Then, I mean... Wala na kayong masasabi. Face of the league na si Berto. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wala na. Matik na yan. I mean, And, he is in the... What? That he is in the darling of the league. Wala na, wala. Team. Matik na yun. Tapos, bolik to soon pa. Fast and the Furious 2.0. <laughs> diba? And honestly, brother... Ito naman ang mangyayari. Come on, man. Like, I have no inside source, ah. Wala akong inside source. Mangyayari. But you feel like this is gonna happen? Berto, I'm calling it right now. And this is with no chismis, ah. Hindi ko nakausap si kanya. Uh-huh. Hindi ko this is just a Mikey Reyes take. Berto will replace Eli Tenorio. Eli Tenorio But... is Twilight Years. The same as Mikey. Yeah, yeah, like Mikey Williams rep, is, will replace Jason. Berto would be the second coming of LA. Wala nang iba. Sino ang kukunin mo from another SMC team but Berto? That's true. Di ba? Wala na. Yan na yun. Berto Siyempre, would be... Siyempre, the sentimental fan in me would like Berto to stay in North Port. With yeah. Oh, yung, yung part there. of the Damian Lillard vibe. Oh, yung ganun. Vibe. But, but that's not the landscape of the PBA, no, no, Shadley. No no, no. no, no. He's gonna be the next LA Tenorio. Yeah. He's gonna Just a matter of time, no? Just a matter of time and also finding finding a wag naman masyadong luging trade. <laughs> Kasi syempre, wag naman masyadong lugi. Pwede straight up, 'di ba? Pwede straight up. Kasi Northport is a third, hindi naman siya technically siya under the umbrella, 'di ba? Okay. So, pwede straight up. They're pwede trying up. Come on. At least at least give us a fair trade, 'di ba? <laughs> Kasi yung Stanley will naman. I think Ako pare yung Stanley for Berto at this point. Lugi. Lugi pero hindi pa masyadong halata. Oo. P- pwede Siguro pa. Siguro Stanley think, plus someone. I think papasya pa yung straight up na Stanley Berto. Kung ngayon no, hindi pa masyadong ngayon, what the hindi fuck. Pa hindi pa masyado. Pero kung Stanley plus someone for Berto, walang magre-reklamo. For sure. Stanley plus... Balik nila, balik, nila si balik nila si Onubere. Balik nila si Onubere. Pwede rin, pwede rin. Yeah, balik nila si Onubere. O kaya Stanley, Jeff Chan. Uy, kumagawa pa si Jeff, Jeff Chan. Chan. Kumagawa oh, pa. Sorry. Diba, like, I'm just looking for ways to make it fair. <laughs> Pero obviously, the trade will surround, well, the focus will be bolik. Okay. For sure. Jeff Pundalan, what if Shell pick James Yap as their number one pick? Um... Sorry guys, but ang class, alam ko lang, ang alam ko lang sa Shell si Benji para si saka si ano, Mr. Automat, oh. Mr. Sureball. <laughs> si Jerry um, Slab. James, sino ba pick ng Shell noon? Ah si Rich Alvarez. Rich Alvarez, who, who turned out to be the rookie of the year. I don't know who their wing guys were then. Same. Oh, so hindi natin masabi. Si Rich lang maalala ko from that oh, time. Si Rich lang. Oh, si Rich lang. Oh, si Ronald Tubid. Ronald Tubid. Okay. Oh, okay. Shell. Siya lang naalala. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's too tough to tell. Masyari tayong bata for that. Pero I think if if James Yap went to Shell, I don't think he would have the same legacy that he has now. Yeah. True. Because he started his career with Pure Foods. So, won a lot of cone, chips there. Team Cone siya. Team Cone siya. And right now, wala. He's just enjoying actually going into his last few seasons in the league. Wala. Yun na lang. Yeah. Kasi El, nagawa niya na lahat eh. Yeah. I don't think he would have done the same if he were with Shell. For Kasi sure. ito mo nangyari kay Rich. Totoo, Bounced totoo. around the league after Bang, Shell. Bang kuma per every game. Yes, band. Alalang-alala ko yun. But, yeah. 
if Shell picked James up, that would have been bad for James. Yeah, I'm not, not this is not a shot at Shell, but yung nangyari kasi sa kanya uh-huh. nung napunta siya sa Pure Foods, eh, puta, i-replace, ano yun, hindi mo bababa. Because he, what, he won, he won the MVP sophomore season? Oh man, masyadong ano si James Yap. Masyadong maganda yung nangyari kay James Yap dahil napunta uh-huh. siya Pure Foods. Okay, what if di na-injure si Danny Siegel sa 2002 Busan Asian Games? They would have won. They would have won, for sure. They were the favorites. Yeah. Eh. And Danny Siegel Sobrang was... lakas ng lineup. Danny Siegel was the shit. Bro, he back was... Then. He was it. Was he the he face of it. the league? Or Danny I? I think the two Dannys. The two Dannys. Yeah, the two Dannys. Um, the two Dannys. This the was... San coach... Miguel team was definitely crazy. Oh, yeah, this was Coach Olsen's, di ba? Imagine yeah, yun na lang. Olsen. We Ito lost. Yung... We lost because of a couple of free throws. What if Danny was there? Baka nga hindi umabot sa free throw. Exactly. Yeah. So. Okay. What, What if walang, if walang sister, sister teams, teams at transparent ang sahod ng players <laughs> tulad sa NBA? Then that wouldn't be the And PBA. And solid. <laughs> Then that wouldn't make the PBA as exciting as it is today. <laughs> Uy, in fairness. Ha? Pero, pero no, no joke ha. Because of these ek- exalabas, it makes the PBA more exciting. For me ha, parang, paano kaya nila gagawin to? <laughs> Paano nila papadala si Berto sa Hinebra? <laughs> like, merong, merong, ano ah, merong legitimate excitement kung paano nila yes, inaayos, di ba? Kasi, siyempre, pag, pag lahat naman na transparent, wala eh, parang corny. At alam mo naman ng Pinoy, gusto ng teleserye. Oo, oh, pare, we show. Honestly ah, kung hindi ganito yung PBA, hindi kayo ganyang kaano. Because, Teleserye. Yung PBA parang ano yun eh, reflection of how the way Pinoy's live their life. Oh, come on. Gusto niyo Kayo na... ba? Yung buhay niyo nyo? Kompleto ba ng walang drama? Oh. Eh, straight up, di ba? Oo, oh, totoo. Gusto niyo ng chismis? Gusto niyo din yan? Huwag na tayong maglukuan. Yeah, Gusto... Na. May, may, may WWE vibe yung PBA oh. dahil sa ganyan. Huwag na tayong mag-ano. Di ba? Nagkaaminan tayo. Masaya yung... Masaya maging transparent. Obviously, NBA type. But Pinoy's enjoy the drama. Come on, man. Halos mas may drama sa PBA kaysa sa NBA. Exactly. That so, that's I think that's also one of the reasons why it's very hard for us to to fix these kinds of problems because we don't want to fix it. Yeah, because we enjoy the the clout. The PBA is getting the clout yeah. because of these things. Come on, kahit hate is clout. So even if you're hating, you're watching. All right. Yeah. What if si Shabazz yung import ngayon sa Meralco? Eh, di ba, lakas na Meralco. <laughs> lakas na nga sila ngayon. Si Tony Bishop pa lang. Eh. Oh. Bahal pa kaya si Shabazz. Pucha. Okay. What if Dina veto CP3 to Lakers? More chips for sure. CP, CP3 ano ba, ano bang, ano bang team nun? CP3, Kobe. Kobe. Wow. This, oh, this Sino was ba ang the... trade? Ito yung, ito yung napunta siya sa Clippers instead. Sino ba yung iti-trade? Nakalimutan ko na eh. Basta, basta magsistay si Pau doon. Oh, basta magsistay si Pau. Eh, Pati si sila. Lamar. Oo. O baka si Lamar pare. yung tinraid. Baka si Lamar. Hindi naman Hindi naman ata pwedeng makip mo yung buong first five mo para kay Chris Paul. <laughs> Prime ni Chris Paul to eh. Hindi ka naman alala bro. Sa yeah, yeah. But yeah, obviously that would have been fun. Oh, okay. Definitely Chris Paul would have won a chip with the Lakers. Yeah. With the Lakers. Okay. What if yung Blackwater team ni Coach Leo Isaac ay hindi nawala? What if hindi natuloy yung Greg and C-Stan trade? Ano ba yung Greg uh, and C-Stan, C-Stan trade? Yung ano? Yung North ah, Port. Ah, yung North Ginebra. Port. Okay, okay. We, we answered that na ata kanina. Yeah, yeah, we did, we did. What if yung Blackwater yung... team ni Coach Leo? Iyan eh, yung unang-una, mahina yan eh. Iyan <laughs> yung umakyat from the D-League eh. Oo nga, mahina yun. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't. Or that's not even Ray Ray. Well, no, not even. Oh, okay. I, I don't remember that. I know. Okay. Yan yung pinakauna. Ta. What if Hinebra picked Terrence instead of James Forrester? Damn, bro. Terrence um, and Mark Kagiwa in one team? What have that worked? No. That is the reason why they didn't pick Terrence Romeo. Plus, they had LA. Yep. Terrence Romeo would have gotten... Dalawa lang ang pwede mangyari. Magalit yung Hinebra dahil kinukuha ni Terence yung bola or hindi makakuha ng bola si Terence which blunt Terence global port wouldn't have happened. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't want this. Yeah. To this I day, think it was good for the league that to this North day, Port drafted yeah. Terence. And to this day, he never made the right pick. Kahit sabi mo na wala na si James Forrester, obviously ngayon you're gonna say mali 
But during that time, James was the logical pick because may scorer ka na in Kagiwa, may point oh. guard ka in, te, in LA. You would have gotten... Come on, guys. James Forrester, everyone expected he would have been the Scotty Thompson. Diba? Like that was... Scotty Thompson was James Forrester's plan. Yeah. Or Hinebra's plan. People forget how good James Forrester was college, in college. No? <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, he was supposed to be Scotty Thompson. There, Bef- there. Tama, di ba? Before Giovanni Halalan was the face of Ariane, it was James it Forrester. It was James Forrester. It was James Forrester. James he Forrester. Yun na lang. James Forrester's ceiling was who, who uh, Scotty is now. Yeah. Okay. What if I okay. say si Kiefer sa NLEX, sila kaya number one seed ngayon? It's tough to tell. But obviously, But they yeah. would definitely have been more, they would definitely have been better. Yeah, with how Kevin is playing. Tapos mm-hmm. si KJ. Yeah, for sure. But it's tough to say kasi that would be disrespectful to Magnolia. Malakas din mm-hmm. ang Magnolia. Yeah. Okay. What if natuloy yung Reyes alas sa UP, Joshua Vince Jaime? Huh? Ah, yung Reyes alas tandem. Ah, kayo ni, kayo ni bro, Kevin. Bro, ang sinasabi ko lang. Ang, <laughs> Sige. Yeah. Bro, ang kinukuha nga nun, Reyes, Alas, Maikes, Uruena, Sanggalang, Bringas. I'm yun getting goosebumps nga, just hearing that. Yun, yun nga, yun yung plano, man. Nag-dinner na kami. Bringas, Huruena, Sanggalang. Why? Pampanga boys, bro. Nag-dinner na kami. <laughs> bro, no joke. Man. No joke. Like, that was supposed to be the five. The, the five, the five, ah. Yung first five dapat na gagawin, the future sana. Of course, na, no disrespect to the ones na nandun na nung time na yun. But this was supposed to be the fab five in the future. Ako, Kevin, Kurwena, one, two, three. Kurwena was high school Bro, MVP, guys. MVP ah. si Ma- si oh, Mark guys, ah. guys, MVP si Mark Nunn. UAAP Juniors oh, MVP Bro. si Mark Nunn. It was supposed to be me, Kevin, Mark Kurwena, bring us Sanggalang. Which bring us? RV? RV, RV. Kabatch ko si RV. That was supposed to be the five. Damn, bro. And then last minute, hinugot ni daddy si Kevin. Tangi niya na eh. Coach Louie kasi. Alangin niya si daddy. Baka feeling ko bago matulog. Pila- oh, letra na. Kaya siya ginaganon eh. <laughs> si daddy, kinawa si Kevin. <laughs> This is, ah, may kwento ako. This is all love for Coach Putit. All love. All love, Coach Putita. Pero alala ang alala ko to. Sabi ko, Coach, si Kevin. Kasi ganun ko si Kevin high school eh. Coach Kevin. Medyo buhaya kasi. <laughs> Sa loob-loob ko. Wala akong pakialam kung buhaya. <laughs> Kaya binalas yun. Like, come on, man. There's a reason kung bakit siya buhaya. Anong letran siya? Oh, Kaya na sobrang galing na ba kasi. Like, doon ako parang Coach Putit naman. Siyempre, bata pa ako na. So, hindi ako makahirit. Pero... Coach, putit naman. Kahit buhaya yan. Kevin, alas yan, man. Okay, sorry. That would have been the shit, bro. Shit. Nakatakot yun, pari. Well, What if we're CD... saying that now kasi. Kasi alam na natin kung ano nangyari. Ian Sanggala, Siyempre. Kevin, alas. Pero during that yeah, time, hindi rin natin alam. Mahalin nyo, baka hindi naging Ian Sanggala. At... Baka naging katulad ko yung dalawang yan. <laughs> naging ganito, di ba? So, we can't say din naman. But yeah, anyway. All right, Neil Martin Gamo, what if CJ Perez stayed in Ateneo? Um, ano ba yung time na yun? Coach Bo? Ay, Coach Tab. Coach Tab. Coach Tab na ba yun? Oo, oh, di ba nawala nga siya nung si Coach Tab na. Okay. Uh, Coach Tab na to. Team B ata si CJ kay Coach Bo. Kung kay uh, Coach Tab, then 30 think... wouldn't have been 30. CJ uh, I I think I think it still would have worked with the kind Wouldn't of Wouldn't CJ be 30? Yeah, but feel ko alam naman din naman ni Coach Tab na he, he... actually oh. Yeah, diba? wouldn't CJ be 30? But here's the thing though. I believe the baby beast wouldn't have been unleashed 
if he wasn't with Coach Topix LPU. Oh. He, if he there, stayed in Ateneo, nah, he would nah, have nah. gone on to become a role player. A role player. Yes. He wouldn't have been the face. It was him and Berto, faces of the NCAA no time. Mm. Na yon. And they were compared to Scotty Gio a couple of years ago. Sila yung mukha nun, and then naging yeah. CJ Berto. I don't think he would have been as yung clout ni CJ Perez. Wouldn't have been. He would have been. He would have gotten Ateneo clout, but For not sure. individual clout na po mga mukha eh, di ba? Sila talaga yung standing tall nun eh, nung tayo tsaka nag-sweep sila sa LPU, di ba? So, yeah. It was a good, like, it was a blessing in disguise. It was. Nawala siya sa atin eh. Couple more maybe. Bench home. What if nalaro ni Mikey Reyes lahat ng playing years niya sa UAAP? <laughs> Feeling ko parang hindi din naman. Because I wouldn't put too much weight on one season. Yeah, hindi rin naman siguro. Three seasons lang ako sa, PIB, sa UAP. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, uh, ito. Et, sige. Patulan natin itong sinabi ni Juno. Paano kung may isang major network na mag-pick up ng shoot first pero total revamp, may pagka-showbiz and dapat may off-the-court issues and rumors yung magiging team. Magpapakaalipin ng salapi ba kayo? Hayop ka. <laughs> Hayop ka, Juno. Ha? Hayop ka kasi. Ang hirap ng tanong mo. <laughs> um... If 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 there were, I doubt that there are mainstream. I I doubt too. Listening right now, but if you are guys are listening, if the price is right, bro, <laughs> honestly, par, tigin mo. Wala mo puta. If if the price is right, sure, sure, sure. Gare to yung ginagawa namin yun. Kasi malamang show namin to. Wala oh, namang ibang. Oh, wag tayong maglokohan. If the price is and also, I believe that whoever picks us up also knows it is working because of how we are now. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think they're going to change it completely. Yeah. Kasi I mean, changing it completely means, eh, but hindi na lang tayo bumuo ng panibagong show. <laughs> diba? Hindi na shoot first. Hindi oh, na yung shoot first. So if they're buying shoot first, it just means they see the potential of shoot first. So I don't think there also will be a network na, sige, kunin natin shoot first, pero baguhin nyo. Hindi rin. Hindi, parang, gawa na lang tayo ng bagong show. <laughs> di ba? So, hindi pa- rin ata nila babaguhin. Hindi, feeling ko rin hindi. Feeling ko hindi. Pero if may bibili, why not? <laughs> may studio kayo dyan. Di ba? Bro, itong... Mm. Bro, that... Isn't that the goal? It is naman talaga. Diba? It is naman talaga. I mean, would, would we want to do this forever? Zoom? Yeah. The goal is for a network or a rich person to invest in this and see that there is potential in this. So, bro, if there, not even a network, bro, if there's a rich person out there that's yeah. so brang into shoot first, yo, let's do something. Like, seriously, man. Yeah. Fund, the, uh, fund the us, we'll find something. Bro, diba? We'll see. We'll oh, make sure it works. <laughs> yeah, we'll make sure it works for sure. Paano uh, mapatulang ko? Jobert Benitez. This okay. isn't, cl- this isn't toxic. What if pumasok two free throws mo, idol? <laughs> Go for it. I wouldn't be who I am today. I still be, <laughs> I I still believe that the two missed free throws. Ito lang yan. Sinabi ko na to dati. If I made those free throws, we would have been 2-12 to finish the season. I wouldn't be in the PBA just because of making those free throws. The PBA is not ignorant. Na, Uy, nakashot ang dalawang free throw to. 2-12 sila. Kunin natin. <laughs> That's like saying yung kay Von, yung 32 trees niya. It's not, it's not that simple. So, if I made those two free throws, we would have been 2-12. I wouldn't have had clout either way. I, I mean, have more, yeah, okay, clout, I have more clout missing those free throws. <laughs> I like because that. you forever get to use it again and yep. again. Ever ba na may magsasabi na, Oy, yung 2-12 kayo, nashoot mo yung dalawang free throw kalaban si Kiefer. Tinalo mo si Kiefer Rabena. Honestly, no one would remember that shit. But because I missed them, to this day, people remember it. So, I have no regrets talaga. Seriously, man. Hindi naman yan katulad ng kung finals, game three, I missed two free throws versus I made them and won the chip, then that would have been a different story. It was between winning the chip and not winning the chip 
Apo, ah, iba yun. But it was between 2.12 and 1.13. <laughs> There is Not no really much of a difference exactly. there. Exactly, there is no difference there. Or siguro, you missed it. You would have made the final four if you made both. Yung oh, yun. ganun. May, may oh. may, kung may ganun usapan, definitely different yun. Oh, or para mag-finals, ganun, oh. Pero yung para mag-212, wala man. Something Wala. just really happened for a reason, oh, guys. Mas maganda like, pa nga yung... Those two free throws because... Yeah, man, because I use it to this day. <laughs> I use it to this yeah. day, man. <laughs> And also, yung 113, honestly, it fits because that was the bonfire year. Yun ba yun? Oh, bonfire yung 1, eh. Oo oh, nga pala. So, it, it was 212, parang... Eh, 113. Ano yung 1? Bonfire. <laughs> Wala, I still, I still don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, and dami pa. Maybe we'll have two Sobrang more, dami. pero pili na tayo. We were going in order kasi. Okay, yeah. pili tayo. Ah, oh, ikaw muna, go ahead, man. Ah, uh, lang, may tinagsat. Ang hirap eh. Ang dami, bro, sobra. Sobra. Wait lang, hanapin ko yung nakatag sa atin dyan. Saan na ba 'yon? Um, you know what? Ito na lang. Hindi what if. Ah, sige. Oh. You know what? Let's end with this. Sa sobrang dami, ang hirap pumili. Pasensya na mga kaibigan. But we might be doing this na lang every Wednesday. Yeah. Since walang PBA ng Tuesday. Okay. Hindi natin na pag-usapin yung 56 points ni Lebron. Sobrang dami nang nagsasabi. Okay. Oh. Ano ba? What is there to talk about with Lebron? Like, I'm not... I mean, 56... Lebron could do that if he wanted to. Yeah. I think... I think people just want us to acknowledge that he did this while he was already 37 years old. And Bro, hindi ko na maramdam on... na 37 yung hayop na yun eh. Ang <laughs> <laughs> ina nung reverse dunk niya, pare. Bro, hindi ko ramdam na... Ter- like, pakiramdam ko, kabatch niya si Steph Curry eh. Like, oh, ganun yung... bro. Parang ganun eh. Kabatch niya si Yanis eh. Like, for me, you know, th- this is something that he is just forced to do because of how shitty his team yeah, is right yeah, yeah. now. He has to score na lang. He has to score and I, this I, much. And I think naman we can be... We can, it's safe to say he's chasing Karim. He is. He definitely is. Chasing Karim. I'm sure he has that on his mind. Yeah. Kasi alam naman niya na at some point in time, bibigay na rin yung katawan niya. Oh, alam hinahabol, niya. Eh. Hinahabol na niya yan. Uh, Kaya as much as he can, pinupush niya na. Oh, parang... What is there to say? Honestly, siguro, da, siguro hindi namin napag-usapin because what's there to say? Yeah, But I mean, because... He's, he's, Honestly, are we surprised that yeah. he did it? No. Are we surprised that he can score 56 points? Maybe it was cool. It, it was extra cool because it happened against the Warriors. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't a sucky team. But 56 yeah. for LeBron isn't... Yeah. That's not, he he can do that if he really wants to. Yeah, if he really wanted to, he could do that. Man. <laughs> Kung talaga nagbabakaw siya. Eh, but that's not oh. his game. But yeah. yeah. You would love to see it once in a while. And mm-hmm. he's that aggressive. But yeah. There's really nothing to talk about. And I mean, no hate, ah, but like... Yeah, exactly. That's why we didn't really put much weight on it. Yeah, man. I mean, cool, 56. That's LeBron, though. <laughs> yeah, he does that shit, man. So, as great as he is, hindi na surprising. Hindi na talaga. Sorry, guys. All right. All right, yeah. Yeah, wala. And sobrang dami. We'll do this again next week. You know what? We'll not start another thread for next week. Yeah, we'll continue, we'll, we'll continue this. But yeah, we had fun. Thank you very much again for the engagement. Please join the community for those yes, who haven't on Facebook. That's the Shoot First community. For the hobbyists and card collectors, join the Shoot First Breaks community as well. And yeah, man, we're on Spotify and YouTube kung di nyo alam saan kami pahahanapin. Thank you very much for all the support, people. The name is Mike Reyes. This has been Javi Palanya. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Peace and love. We'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>